Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. And today I'm going to talk about how you can earn 4% cash back on every purchase you make using the Slide app. Now, for those who aren't familiar with the Slide app, this app is also made by the same company that makes the Raise app. And the Raise app is an app or a website that you can use where you can go and purchase gift cards at a discount. Now, these gift cards could be unwanted gift cards that people receive as a gift, or they could be partially used gift cards that people don't want anymore, but you can use it. It's basically a marketplace where you can go and buy these gift cards and you can get them at a discount. And so it's not surprising, considering that it's made by the Raise app, that with the Slide app, they decided to use a gift card approach to making cash back with this cashback app. And so when you're using the Slide app, what you're essentially doing is you're purchasing gift cards within the Slide app, and then you're using that gift card to make your purchase at the over 150 plus stores that they have available in their app currently. And since you know exactly how much cash back that you're gonna get every time, because it's 4% with every store that's available in the Slide app, then it makes it a lot easier for you to choose between one cash back app versus using another. So all you really need to know is what stores are available within this app. And then you can use the Slide app kind of as a barometer to tell whether you should use another app or you should use the Slide app instead because you know that you're going to get 4% every time. Now also as a bonus with the Slide app, you can get an additional 1% cash back if you decide to add a cash balance to your Slide app versus just when you're going to make a purchase, purchasing that gift card to cover whatever your purchase may be. Now, adding a balance to your cashback app, it may seem like a waste, but if you think about it, if these are purchases that you're going to make anyway, and there are stores within the Slide app that you're going to make purchases at, then putting your money in early is actually better than even having your money sitting in a savings account. Because have you seen savings account interest rates lately? And I've done a few videos talking about different savings accounts and how much you can get over the past year. And it has really dropped down drastically because the Federal Reserve has been reducing interest rates. And now they're essentially nothing or maybe you can get half a percent. Uh, some of the highest interest rates are at like 0.6 or they're below 1%. Whereas even just one year ago, there were savings accounts that had 2.5% interest rates. And so if you have money sitting in your savings account and you know that you're going to spend that money, whether it's on restaurants, whether it's shopping, whatever the case may be, if the stores that you normally make purchases at every month are available within the Slide app. And so you can think of this as a temporary 1% interest rate savings account prior to you making that purchase if you were to add the balance to your Slide app before actually making the purchase at the over 150 available stores within the app. But of course, you don't want to treat it like a, an actual savings account. You don't want to put hundreds or even thousands of dollars that you don't plan on spending in the next month or two within the app. Because once you have the money within the Slide app, then you have to use it to make purchases in order to get rid of that balance. You won't be able to withdraw your actual Slide balance, but any cash back balance that you earn, that is what you can actually withdraw as cash from the Slide app. So if you already have a set budget for eating out or for shopping, then you can kind of think of this like a cash envelope system. And basically, instead of having your cash in an actual envelope for whatever you're going to spend for that month, you can move it into the Slide app to earn that extra 1% on top of the 4% cash back that you're going to earn when you actually make your purchase. And so it's a great way to get a little extra bump on the money that you're spending that you're going to spend anyway by using the Slide app and getting that extra 1% by adding money to your Slide balance. And so as I mentioned, as far as getting the cash back out, once you actually earn it, you have a few options in order to use the cash back that you earn once you earn it by using the Slide app. And out of all of the cash back apps that I've reviewed and that I've personally used, the Slide app has one of the lowest, if not the lowest threshold for actually being able to withdraw money from the account. And that minimum balance is just $15 worth of cash back. And since you know that you're getting 4% cash back on all of your purchases, then that means you know exactly how much money you will need to spend before you're even able to withdraw any of the cash back. And because that minimum is $15 and you divide that by the amount of cash back percentage that you're receiving, which is 4%, or you can divide it by 0 0.04, and that gives you a total amount of spending that you'd have to make of $375. Now I can imagine that most of you, by the end of the year, you'll definitely spend over $375, whether it's eating out, going to restaurants, having food delivered, or whether it's shopping for clothes or shoes or whatever online. 
But for some of you, $375, you may actually spend that just in one month. So every month you could potentially earn $15 worth of cash back if the stores that are available within the Slide app are stores that you use on a regular basis. And so once you reach that $15 threshold, you can then withdraw the money either by using Venmo or PayPal to make that withdrawal. And then another option that you have, instead of actually withdrawing your cash back, you can actually use your cash back balance to make purchases within the Slide app. So let's say you've spent your $375, you've earned that $15 worth of cash back. Instead of withdrawing the money, if you don't have anything that you plan to use it for, you can think of that as a $15 bonus on things that you can buy within the Slide app. And so maybe next month, if you have a set limit that you spend within the Slide app or on your restaurant or shopping purchases, then that's $15 less that you would need to add to the app if you are adding to your slide balance because you have that additional $15 or whatever the cashback balance may be that you can spend on your next purchase. And so in the spirit of the parent company of the slide app, which is the raise app, I decided that I wanted to actually use a gift card to make a purchase within the slide app. And so I had a visa gift card that still had a balance. It was $12 and 82 cents. And I decided to see if I could use that gift card to actually make my gift card purchase within the slide app and then make the purchase at whatever store or restaurant that I was going to use it at. And so that's when I realized that I couldn't actually use it. And it wasn't because I couldn't use the gift card because you can use any visa card or MasterCard. The reason that I couldn't use it is that when you try to add a balance to your slide app, you have to add a minimum of $25. And so since this visa gift card was only $12 and some change, I wasn't able to use it to actually add to my balance. However, I could use that gift card to actually make a purchase. And so with many of the stores that are, are available within the Slide app, all you need is a minimum of five or $10. Most of the stores that I saw within the Slide app had a minimum of either five or $10. And so I could use that $12 and change balance to actually make a purchase. So if I wanted to go to Chipotle or Domino's or one of the other stores that are available within the app, then I could use that smaller balance on a specific store versus, and I wouldn't get that additional 1% that I would get if I added it to my slide balance, but I can still use it to get the 4% cash back on whatever store that I was deciding to make a purchase at. And so since you know exactly what you're going to get as far as cash back in the slide app, then how would this affect any cash back stacking strategy that you would have by using a credit card or any other cash back apps? And so with every cash back stacking strategy, that starts out with the cashback credit card that you're going to use when you're using any cashback app. And so, of course, using the Slide app, you can use your cashback credit card for this app specifically because I know exactly what I'm going to get when I use the Slide app. And I know that because I'm using the Slide app, the Slide app or the Slide company, that's what's going to show on my credit card instead of the actual store that I'm shopping at. And so I want to use the cashback credit card that gives me the most cashback on just any general purchase. And for me, that card is the City Double Cashback card. And with the City Double Cashback card, I get 2% cashback on all of my purchases. You get 1% when you make the purchase, and you can get another 1% once you actually pay off your balance. And so every time I make a purchase within the Slide app, I'm getting that 2% cashback with my credit card. I'm also getting that 4% cashback on whatever store I decide to buy a gift card for. And if I were to add a balance to the Slide app, with a minimum of at least $25 in order to do that, I can get an additional 1% cash back. And so by using the City Double Cash Card with the Slide app, I can earn 6% cash back, at least 6% cash back total between my credit card and the 4% that you're gonna get from the Slide app. And then if you wanna boost that cash back more, you can add cash to your Slide app balance and that will give you an additional 1%, bringing your total cash back earn up to 7% if you were to add your balance to the Slide app. And so knowing that you're going to get 6 to 7% cash back every time that you use the Slide app, then you can use the Slide app kind of as a base to compare all of the other cash back apps that you use and any other cash back stacking strategy that you use with any other apps and your credit cards. And so with many cash back credit cards, you may have special bonuses in specific categories. For instance, with the Costco cash back credit card, you can get 4% cash back whenever you make purchases at gas stations and you can get 3% at restaurants. But with general cash back that doesn't fit a specific category, you only get 1% cash back. 
And so since none of those special categories will count when you're using the Slide app, it's better for you to use a card that has a higher cashback threshold on their general cashback, which is why I use the City Double Cash card instead with the Slide app. And so even with those bonus categories, if the bonus category, even if it's 4%, you would want to make sure that any additional cashback you're receiving with your cashback stacking strategy with whatever other cashback app that you combine with your credit card is going to at least get you 6 to 7%. Otherwise, if that same store is available in the Slide app, then it may be better for you to use the Slide app instead and get that guaranteed 6 to 7% cashback. Now, of course, with other apps, you may be able to get more than 6 or 7%. For example, with the Flues app, when you first sign up using my referral link, wink, wink, you can get 35% cashback vouchers, but that's only up to a $10 purchase. And so while that's 35% is great cashback, you're not going to get that on every single purchase and you're not going to get it on any purchases of $10 or more. So once you go over $10 purchase within the Flues app, then whatever the normal cashback is for that specific store that you're going to use to buy that gift card within the Flues app because it uses a similar strategy for your cashback, then you may only get 2% or 1% or maybe 3 or 4% if there's some special category or some special promotion at that time. And that's the same with many other cashback apps as well. There may be a week or a special holiday or some special day that that specific company has where you could potentially earn more than 6 or 7% at a specific store, but you may not get that 4% cash back every time you shop at that store. So 4% is pretty high for consistent cash back. And so this makes the Slide app very valuable and it makes a great floor as far as the amount of cash back that you, could, you should compare the Slide app to any other cash back app and any other cash back stacking strategy. So based on this minimum 6 to 7% cash back that you can receive using the Slide app at over 150 plus stores, is this an app that you would use to earn cash back? Are there any specific stores that you use within other apps that you always get more than 6% cash back? If so, let us know what you think about the Slide app. If you already use it or if this is your first time hearing about it, let us know about that in the comments as well. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day.